everybody, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com using time honor techniques to understand modern markets. This video is for educational purposes only and it is not intended to be any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional, just a guy that draws lines on charts. And by the way, you ought to be drawing lines on your own charts. That'll uh, maybe help you out too. So let's look at the S&P. Okay, the first thing I want to do is look at an hourly chart. And those of you who have been following these videos, uh, a couple days ago, I made mention that, uh, that I had identified a more refined upward channel line. And I really owe you guys an apology I mean, not that you couldn't have found this line yourself, but um, I had just kind of been blinded by another thing in the chart that had a line that was very similar to this, but um, it was just a little bit squonky. I mean, it, it was like it the, the line I had didn't really have this reaching it yet. Um, so make a long story short when we had this big sell-off here I erased everything off the chart and I put a line like that and I said by golly that's the line I should have been paying attention to all along had I been doing that then when we reach this point right here um, and let's get rid of this purple line I'm not I'm not worried about it right now that when we reached this point right here and we started looking like a little bit of a wedge, you know, that would have said sell. That really would have said it. But since we hadn't reached quite the line that I had, I was thinking there's one more push up for another 8 to 10 points, then sell. Oh, well, live and learn. So uh, the, the moral of the story is I need to uh, go back and erase lines uh, more from time to time and start all over again because the information in a chart in fact does change so uh b but here's the cool thing um and and I'm I'm you can go back and and look at the video uh to make sure I said this but but I uh, it was either the I think it was the day before yesterday uh Wednesday or Tuesday's video um I made mention that Sometimes when you take uh, a line that's very clear like this, you can almost copy that line. And that will be where the bottoms are. And, and I actually had taken this line and moved it to line it up with back here. And I want to show you something. Look there. Now, here's the deal. I really wish I had left that line on the chart, then I could have bragged about it and said, look, I told you it was going to bounce here. But the fact of the matter is, I really did not know for sure it was going to bounce there. Um, I hoped it would bounce there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I could tell from the action yesterday that, that we were setting up, that we had made the turn. But, uh, but I just kind of revisited this line here and, and how interesting that is. Uh, additionally, uh, I think I'd mentioned that if we started back here and we drew a line over the last one, two, three bottoms, and you could even say go back to this point, that, uh, that we also uh, reached an area where one would expect some support. Additionally, this dark black line, if you extend it backwards, it, it has um, a, a couple of areas of technical support and or resistance uh, in the history of the S&P. So, let's look at uh, at what happened today and uh, kind of put it in the context. Now, I had made a preliminary drawing because the, on, on the website, um, uh, freechartvideos.com, there was discussion that we thought maybe the S&P was going to be making an inverse head and shoulders right here. So these lines were kind of my mm, kind of guess at, uh, at what the S&P might do. And what's funny, I got it exactly wrong. <laughs> Where it's, I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, I did get that there was going to be a move up. I did not know it would, it would uh, go up over this uh, line, though. 
I really thought that there would be some resistance here, and uh, and and then we would pull back and and we would uh, come back and back test this line a couple times. Then we would get over it. It's kind of funny though, where my little peak was here was where the markets actually dipped, and where they went up. I said they're going to go down, and now I'm saying they're going up and down, and they're actually going sideways. This was just for fun. This was uh, so we get rid of that. That was just playing around to illustrate an idea of what some of us thought might happen. Now, this was a, uh, a nice, strong move today. I mean, the market was up, uh, S&P was up over a percent, um, and it held all day long. If this is a kind of a neckline, and, and we're looking at these two uh, dips right here, then I think we've got more room to run. Where we ended today uh, was clearly in uh, about uh, not quite the midway point of the newly defined channel. Um, and I might add, this is also, um, I, I believe this point right here would have been in the old channel. But I'm sticking with this one now because the reason is the only other defining point that we had to make this call on where this bottom channel is was up to debate whether we start here after the breakout or we start here on this dip. So you can see if we extend this back now so that we have this and this accounted for, we end up with the channel actually starting right at the point of the breakout well, when we got uh, over this little uh, uh, consolidation pattern. So I am now uh, going to stick with this for my chart. And uh, you can see that, that, that there was a channel that was going up and then it went sideways and then it started going up again, sold off. Are we going to go back and, and, uh, and test this line again? Uh, that would certainly be sweet. Uh, if this line serves as the support that it looks like it is, this line support that it looks like it is, and then this line, um, it looks to me like, yeah, we're probably going to go up. Now, here's, here's the deal. You'll remember that uh, when this channel broke, we used to have a line that was going about like this. And let me see. Yeah, it was about like this. And when that channel broke, it really never got back over the top of this line. That was the old uh, top channel line that I thought was going to hold, but you can see that we never quite reached it. So what's going to happen now? Well, I suspect, and this is just based on past behavior, let's zoom in to, uh, to the one hour chart again, and let's go back and make a second channel definition here and let's kind of say this was a channel right here okay again this would have started after the breakout and it goes up and up and it behaves pretty nicely we have a little bit of the mess with Egypt and then it recovers gets back in the channel then it breaks down so it's my feeling at this point that now this line and this line may define some of our trading range. It's possible that we get up into, into this again, uh, you know, because it was the Libyan mess that caused this. But uh, if we don't, then I think we're going to start going up. But now we're going to do it shifted over to the right again, shifted down and to the right. So um, today was a pretty bullish move. Uh, like I said, we, we bounced off this line really nicely, this line being parallel to this one up here. I think that that's a very good sign. Um, let me refine that just a little bit. So that's what we got going on today. And again, you could tell if we if we look back at this five minute chart, I want to show you again.
the things that told me the market was going to go up today was the fact that we had broken this downward channel right here that's defined by these gray lines that broke out the net formed another little channel that broke out these peaks over the top of this orange line let me make that a little darker orange that broke out late yesterday and pulled back and again I thought this would serve as resistance but it did not the markets just blew right through it and uh, let's see what happens on Monday you know we could uh, be consolidating and it could be that the markets are looking at these past two days of uh, overreaction to the Libyan uh, crisis and and maybe we're just gonna pop back up uh, like we did over the Egypt thing and and just get back to business so uh, we'll find out next week look I hope you've enjoyed this video and I uh, hope you were watching yesterday so that uh, you could have expected this move today uh, I would appreciate it if uh, you guys get a chance come visit freechartvideos.com where we use time honor techniques to understand modern markets uh, please I, I need traffic I need you to tell folks about the website and um, and I need you to join the forum if you can and, and share some of your ideas some of your 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 stock picks and just some of your ideas on technical analysis we try to keep it really uh, informative we don't uh, well every now and then I'll flame somebody but we try to keep it very civil we, we want to learn stuff we want to figure this out and we want to uh, figure it out with tools that actually work and uh, so far these old methods have been working beautifully so come by sign up for the forum and if and if you've gotten something out of this this is free but I I don't beg but if you want to donate something to the cause by all means do there's a place where you can do that on the site take care and uh, we'll have another video at the close on Monday and uh, also uh, look for uh, another little subscription kind of a newsletter update kind of video that uh, that I make uh, available to those who make donations uh, I'm going to do one of those about every two weeks, and I've got a couple interesting stocks that I'm looking at right now. Maybe not quite ready, but some things that I, that I think could be uh, very interesting. So take care.